Mr. Mr. Mark Watson! Welcome to We Need Answers, the quiz show where the questions come from you, the public, via a text answering service. I'm Mark Watson. I'm just a guy like anyone else, put my trousers on in the morning, and uh, I'll be hosting this show. I'm nearly 30 years old. I'm an Aquarian and I've had problems. <laughs> to help me host this show are two fellow men of mine. First of all, manning the technology, it's Alex Horn. <laughs> Yes, Alex. I'm a fellow man of yours. Yes. Uh, we both met, we're just great men. 31 years old. I also wear trousers. So, <laughs> I'm in charge of this sort of bank of uh, technology, and I thought I'd use this one to explain where the show fits in what I call the world of TV. I've done a map. <laughs> I've done a map, and I've divided the world of TV up into the constituent parts food, of course, sports, news, and entertainment uh, in South America, because they're sort of, they, you know, all that. They love the parties, yeah. Entertainment can be divided into three sort of smaller countries. Uh, I think traditionally it's magic, dancing, <laughs> quizzes. We're, we're quizzes. Traditionally, two types of quizzes. Ones which don't use text. So that seems like uh, sort of match of the uh, match of the day. Yeah, quiz, there, that famous quiz, quiz, match of the day. Our one is the sort of smaller category questions which do use text. And uh, I've represented that with uh, Upper Africa, a town in Ecuador with 420 people. So that's the sort of show. That's, I've tried to dem demonstrate the. Thank you, Alex Horn. There. <laughs> Who is our question master? Our question master is Mr. Tim Key. Hello, Tim. Uh, now, Tim, each week the questions are based on uh, a rough theme. Can you tell us what this week's theme is, please? Medicine. So, it involves things like medical history, uh, health foods, a hospital, pills. Some of the questions will be about medicine. It might be things like pills, hospitals... Scars. Scars. Uh, scurvy, that's part of medicine. Bruising. Bruising. <laughs> now, we know what the theme is, but you might be thinking, well, you can have all the themes you want. Who are your contestants? Well, I'll answer that question by saying, let's meet the contestants. Let's meet the contestants. <laughs> let's meet the contestants. Both our let's guests today are popular, yeah. funny, bespectacled people who own let's dogs. The, the first one came let's to prominence in the TV series Late Lunch, the then she did Light Lunch, then she went a bit quiet because they ran out of variations on that title. She's been a celebrity conductor, a Big Brother contestant, a supersizer, and a woman living in Cornwall. She's out of Mel and Sue. It's not Mel. It must be Sue. It is Sue Perkins! Oh, up against Sue. The other contestant is a doctor and a TV personality. What? You can't be both a doctor and a TV personality. Someone hasn't read the rule book because he is both a TV personality and a doctor and he's been a politician and he's often on Dictionary Corner. He's ginger and like Sue, he has a Labrador. Who else can it be but Dr. Phil Hammond? No one, that's who. It is Dr. Phil Hammond! <laughs> Ah. Hello. 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 Hello, Phil. Hello, Sue. How are you doing? I'm impressed with this stool. Do you yes. know, to do a proper poo or have a baby, your hips are supposed to be lower than your knees. It doesn't quite work. Yeah, you've got to be in the squat. I think position. we're hoping that we're sort of not banking on you pooing or having a baby okay. during the show, Phil. That's not Come happened on, in the series then. so far. That would help ratings no end. <laughs> Dr. Phil Hammond does a poo and has a baby. <laughs> You lived in Cornwall for a bit, didn't you, Sue? I did until very recently. Yes, yeah, so there yeah. we are. You've, you're back in London now. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you won't make that mistake again. Am I microchip? You seem to know a lot about my awareness. Oh, this is just the beginning. This <laughs> oh. is the tip of the iceberg, Sue. Yeah. And Phil, of course, you're no stranger to the West Country. You, do you live in Bristol? I live so in the Jew Valley. Put an L on the end of everything. That's what Bristolian I'm from Bristol myself. Yeah, they love that. We're I've both from... ideal, it's my diarrhea doctor. This oh. is how people speak in Bristol. <laughs> if you're watching this in Bristol, you'll be wetting yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you might be thinking, it's all very well having two fine contestants, but if this is a quiz, how are you going to score the damn thing? Well, I'll tell you how. For an answer which precisely matches our text answering service, two points. For an answer which bears little or no resemblance to the text answering service, no points. And uh, this is the grey area. One point if you do an answer which we deem to be quite right. Which is, you know, not perfect, but quite... Yeah, it's quite right. Uh, we've met the contestants, we've explained the scoring. The first round is called Burning Issues, 
and fiddly questions. Tim, are you ready? Yep. You didn't look ready there. You were sort of sucking a thumb, really. Uh, <laughs> Alex, are you ready? Yes. We're all pretty much ready. Let's play We Need Answers. Hello, Sue. Hello, Tim. How are you? Good. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> so let's press on. <laughs> All these questions have been texted in by members of the public. We'll start, I think, with my favourite man, <laughs> Dr. Philip Hammond. What would be the repercussions of belly flopping off the Dartford Crossing Bridge into the River Thames? Are you allowed to tell me how high it is? Yep. Yes. Go on, then. Oh, so... <laughs> uh, 65 metres. 65 metres Six... belly flop. Uh, I would imagine it would split open your abdomen, spilling your small and large intestine. And what would be the result? Possibly your pancreas. Well, it wouldn't be pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> you could die. You could just spill your abdomen. and Somebody could dive in and save you and pack it up and sew it up again. Could you do that? Uh, no, I'm a GP. <laughs> <laughs> and I could say it's probably a virus and give you a sick note. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think I'd be stitching up the abdomen, no. No. I could have a go. If there's no-one else, obviously you'd have to have a go, wouldn't you? You'd have to have a go. <laughs> this is what you want from your GP. Things like, if there's no-one else, I'll have a go. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you would die! Well, that was close. I don't think it would be too morbid. Yeah, well, you're quite right. He's quite, quite right. right. There we are, the first point <laughs> of the contest. Belly flopping from 15 metres or higher would be fatal. The world record belly flop was from 10.6 metres, and they died. <laughs> Sue Perkins. How are you? Hello. Hello. This is your question. Thank you. What are the seven ways to cook an egg? Poach. Yep. Boil. Yep. yep. Fry. Yep. Scramble. Yep. That's, that's four so far. Coddle. Yeah. Coddle's there, yes. Um, braise. Braise eggs? <laughs> Fricassee. <laughs> and a fritterage. Right, it goes across. Okay. Cooking an egg. God, you're going to kick yourself. Can you're going to kick yourself. Oil flambe. Not pan Omelette. Fry. Omelette, yes! Oh! Hey! Yeah. Two points. Should we start with Hannah? Now, this next question is a sexy question. Ooh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got hot in here, has it? Yes, it has. Oh, steaming hot. Right, Phil. Yes. How long does it take for Viagra to start working? Oh, that's pretty sexy. Uh, Viagra is at least half an hour, can be an hour. You have to take it on an empty stomach. Whereas Cialis, you can take whenever time you like, and that will give you an erection up to 36 hours afterwards. Goodness gracious me. Look at Sue's face. Also, Cialis looks like a multivitamin. Viagra is very obvious. If you've got uh, a little blue diamond... I've not come to you with a complaint. Have you not? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This, is, this is just questions, Phil. Just quiz okay. questions, Phil. For right. most men, it takes 30 minutes. That's yeah. two points! Yeah! Um... <laughs> that, 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 uh, yeah. Right then, Perky. Yeah. How far is it from Bristol, England, mm. to Halkadiki, Greece, in pigs? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a picture, picture of a pig. pig. Oh, that's good, yeah. I think that's a, that's a piglet, sorry, that's a, that's a pig, that's a pig. So that's <laughs> a... Do you measure its flaccid or erect length? What? <laughs> no, it's a right. <laughs> On the soft. It's going to help a little bit. So how could Deke would be all the way over here, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, how yeah, could be... I mean, certainly a few piglets length away. Uh, in terms of piglets... Yes, pig. I'd say 465,000. It goes across. Uh, two and a half million. <laughs> the distance from Bristol, I mean, in, in all fairness, you're from Bristol, so it's a little bit of a gimme. But the distance from, <laughs> yeah. the the distance from Bristol to Halkadiki, Greece, in pot bellied pigs is 2,569,230 pigs! <laughs> so the point's going to you, Phil! Oh, you. And that's the end of the round! <laughs> And at the end of that round, the score is nothing to Sue Perkins. But streaking ahead is the medically qualified Phil Hammond with seven points. Oh. <laughs> Alex, uh, can you sort of add some paint to the picture with some more of your analysis? Well, yeah, I've been analysing that, um, that round and I've come up with a game for, for you, Phil. It's not really an analysis, it's more of a, as I said, a game. It's a, it's a medical quandary. I want you to diagnose what's wrong with... <laughs> And this is not for points, this is just for a bit of fun. Medical What's wrong with Sue there? Just by looking at her face. Uh, I, I guess look at, the, look at the monitor in front of you. Just look at the face. She's come in, you can't see the rest of her because of an obstacle. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a normal day as a GP and there's an obstacle. Mm. 
Your word. I would have said that you were constipated. That yeah. looks like, very much like a constipated. Looks well, like wind. No, she's being uh, she's being strang strangled. Oh. <laughs> There's a further question. Who yes. Is who is strangling Sue? Ooh. Could you recognise that hand? It's Phil? a long list, yes. Phil. It's a long list. A.S. Byatt, I suspect. Yes. It's the book we're of going for A.S. Byatt. Yeah. That's no, a very difficult answer. Sue is strangling ah. Sue. <laughs> it's a, it's a suicide. <laughs> Now, the next round is all about our two contestants, so uh, let's find out a bit more about them. One thing that's noticeable that you've got in common, apart from the old uh, specs, is that you've both got Labradors, is that true? It is true. Well, it's not too often on We Need Answers that both contestants have Labradors. It would be a shame <laughs> if we didn't have some sort of dog-off. I'd like you to start, Phil, so give us a, so an impressive fact about Lottie. Uh, Lottie developed abscesses uh, this year. <laughs> It's not the it's first thing that people when boast they about. Burst, we fill our entire cooking jug with, uh, jug with pus. It exploded like the I biggest zit you've ever seen, and we got a whole cooking pot full of brown pus. One nil. Absolutely. He's got a point, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure he's got the public vote with that. Uh, Sue, can you top that? Uh, yeah, Lord Donald is a chocolate Labrador who was bought as a guard dog who is frightened of people, water, and all shiny floors. I live in a flat with shiny floors. It's a nightmare. Any, any abscesses? Uh, nobody <laughs> has developed a cluster of sores. Um, That's around, more like it. That's enough. That's enough. That will do, yeah. Let's turn it into a contest to see who has the illest dog. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, uh, can you top the, uh, the uh, sores? Oh, well, I can. I often prescribe to patients dogs rather than drugs. Uh, because Labradors, especially, but any dog, reduces your blood pressure if you cuddle it. They uh, reduce your cholesterol because they eat your food. Uh, they keep you supple as you bend over to pick up the poo. Uh, and if you're too depressed to put your pants on in the morning, they lick your testicles. That's enough for points, surely. Oh, he's won! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, congratulations to Phil! Oh, the next round. Uh, it's called you or him slash her. So uh, that dog off will stand us in good stead, I think, because in this round all the questions have been sent to our text answering service on the subject of our contestants, Sue and Phil. So each player can choose to answer a question about themselves or, for double points, gamble on a question about their opponent. Let's play We Need Answers! <laughs> Here we go then. And we'll start with you, Sue. You can choose a question about yourself or about Dr. Phil Hammond. I'll play it safe and start with me first. When Sue Perkins does her televisions, yeah. I think it means television shows, <laughs> That's all right. about what people used to eat in the past, yeah. does she actually travel back in time or just dress up? <laughs> After the appalling fiasco that was Brand Slash Ross, the yeah. BBC takes these things very, very seriously. Yes. And so when we say we are gastronomic time travellers, yeah. we do literally travel back in time. It goes across. I think it's a hollow sham. <laughs> <laughs> the worst kind of sham. It's somewhere in between. The BBC budget won't stretch to a time machine. No. But costumes, even her glasses, are authentic. Yes, that is true. Nobody wins the points. <laughs> uh, Dr Phil. I'd like to find out some more about Susan, right. please. What are Sue Perkins' 20 favourite fruits in order? <laughs> 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 this is a tricky one. He'll never get the quince. Oh, it's got to be quince, kumquats. He's kumquats. got two, yeah. He's got two. Oh! Yeah. If he gets this, Lime. it's really Oh, sorry, no, no, you haven't got any. <laughs> 20. Mango. There's no mango. Oh. What are you talking about, mango? Do I look like a mango eater to you? Sue's going to go and have a mango, is she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll oh, just have a mango. Yeah. I used to be on late lunch, now I'm having a mango. Seedless, Seedless grapes. Seedless, Seedless grapes. Seedless grapes. You're crazy. No grapes. Come on, Phil. Oh, Phil, I'm... just name 18 fruits, for God's sake. Apple, pear, plum. No, not cherry. apple, not pear, not cherry. plum. It goes, it, goes, it goes across. It goes across. Morello cherry. Pineapple, Phil. No. <laughs> <laughs> Durian, dragon, bread, jack, star, lemon, fig, cherry, kiwi, grape, pear, date, lime, slow, passion. African cucumber and forbidden. Yeah, it's always the forbidden oh, fruit for me. Yeah. Oh. Does Sue get any points for that, or does no one really get any points? For uh, that? Give one to Sue. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, you or him? Him. Why not? Uh, she gambles for yeah. double points. This is double points. I want to know about Philip now. <laughs> does Hammond yeah. ever wear his stethoscope to dinner parties? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but under the shirt. 
He brings it out later when drunk, a little bit tipsy, and does a little party trick saying, you look like you've got low blood pressure, and then just rams it straight down the cleavage. I mean, he's louche. He's got the skills. Why wouldn't you? He's a perv. <laughs> Right then, Pervy. Is, is, is it right? That is absolutely <laughs> correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! So the points go to you, Sue! Dr. Dre is not a medical doctor. Phil. My dad is a doctor too! Dr. Horn! Dr. Horn. Dr. Horn. He's a, he's a GP. GP. Yeah, Back to the quiz. Dr. Phil. You know this, it's called the magical rhombus. And there's no body cavity you can't reach by putting your stethoscope through there. You just make a little hole there. You don't have to undress people. You make a little hole You set hole a very there. long stethoscope and you stick it in the magical rhombus and you can stick your stethoscope anywhere. I don't think you're pouring cold water on this perv rumour. No. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you know if a man approaches you in an alleyway and asks, look at your magical rhombus. <laughs> <laughs> Dr Phil. Can I have one about me, please? Yes, this time? yes, <laughs> yes. When uh, Phil Hammond does Countdown, Ooh. does he use words from his own head? Or does he have an earpiece and he's told lots of posh words by other celebrities? <laughs> There's a very large man who won Countdown 25 years ago who sits up in the gantry and has an encyclopedic brain uh, and he shouts the answers down to you. If you're feeling brave, you can turn your earpiece off, but I can't spell. So every time I've done that, I've come out with an eight-letter word and it's been wrong. So it's been hideously embarrassing. Is that the one I watched where you just said bum repeatedly? <laughs> <laughs> well, it says here, like all celebs on Countdown, he has an earpiece and is given words by staff behind the scenes. Mm. However, he usually gets the best words himself. I think I'm going to give you two points. Yeah! <laughs> You or him? Uh, I think him. Good morning, I'm sick. If I can get the money together, should I go to a TV doctor? <laughs> you should never go to a TV doctor. It's right! Yes! 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 Don't pay to see a never. TV doctor. It's free, that's what the National Health Service the is for. The NHS provides free health care, so just pop along to your local surgery At for any treatment. time. You don't yeah. need to pay money to him. <laughs> that's the end of the round. <laughs> So with the players neck and neck on nine points, it's now time for this week's physical challenge. So every week at about this point in the show, we take a break from all those boring old questions and set the contestants a gruelling physical challenge based on a particularly intriguing text received by the text answering service. Alex, can you reveal this week's texted question, please? Yes. There's a sound effect. Uh, the question is, is it possible to eat, think and move at the same time? <laughs> well, there's really only one way you could eat, think and move at the same time, and we're going to ask our contestants to do that. We're going to put them in an office situation and ask them to sit in a swivel chair, eat a yoghurt and do a word search. And uh, <laughs> to make this happen, will you please welcome our office manager, Tim Key? How's your business, Tim? Has it been hit hard oh, by the recession? Well, I was just about to say, the recession is absolutely dreadful. It is absolutely bleeding me dry. There we go. It's hitting me, it's hit, sorry, I had to sack an old man. <laughs> right, there's your yoghurt. Thank you. There's your yoghurt. Thank you. And you've got a word searcher piece. And uh, you've uh, both got... Don't look got, at it yet, don't look sorry, at it yet. And you've both got a, um, sort of a, a sort of a, sp a like, let's call it a spoon seal. <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. don't, don't, don't look at, don't look at yeah. it, Hammond! Goodness Hammond. me! <laughs> Not only a perv, but a cheating yes, perv! Yes, a severe <laughs> reprimand for the creepy, pervy cheat. Players, <laughs> uh, you will have to solve as much of the word search as you can while eating as much of your yoghurt as you can using your spoon, so which is a sort of hybrid spoon and pencil. But the twist is, your office manager, Tim, will be spinning you round on your rotating chairs <laughs> for the whole minute. You'll have an awful minute. Uh, <laughs> Tim, I'm going to now hand it over to you, and you will run this game. OK, do you both understand the rules? I do. OK, Sue, you will go on my first whistle. <laughs> uh, Phil, y uh, as well, yeah, on my first whistle. <laughs> OK, so, if you would open your yoghurts... And they're underway, and straight away, Hammond spoons some yoghurt in, and there they go, and... Oh. Uh, but they, yes, give them some encouragement, this is not easy. There's the word search. Oi, so, there's your word search, love. Dramatic scenes here. 
Hammond continues with the word search. Perkins is all at sea. Come on, Hammond. Give Perkins some encouragement. Bandage! Bandage, Sue. Bandage is down there, Sue. Uh, Phil is still spooning that yogurt into his cloth. <laughs> there we are. You can, we can all see the words up here, but can they see them on the page? That's no, the important no, thing. Are. They're still don't spinning. The oh, time is now. Chapstick, nice. Hammond, don't forget chapstick, old friend. Yabs. Round he goes. We can see some of these uh, words on the screen. Vitamins. <laughs> vitamins. It's all to be up. Ten seconds. Give them all the encouragement you can. It's nearly over. Find the words. Find the words. Find the words. Yes, Find go, words. go, go. And the game is over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You are right. Yeah, good. All good. Yeah. Oh, that's the way I normally eat yogurt. So I was, um, <laughs> I was well prepared for that round. <laughs> Just as well. So first of all, Tim, yes. do you have the yogurt pots there? Yes, I do. Can we first confirm whether Phil finished his yogurt? Yes, uh, Phil gobbled up all of his yogurt. Can we Thank confirm you. whether Sue finished her yogurt? Yes. <laughs> so it's a dead heat, which means it comes down to the word searches now. Uh, first of all, we'll do Sue's word search. So Sue has found the word Vix. Is it there? Well, it said. Yeah. Uh, if you look about six rows up. Uh, Sue has correctly found the word yes, which is sort of a, a, a hollow it. triumph, really, because it is a word, we all know the word, but the problem with that is it's not in the word no, search, so no, it's sort no. of, I think we give maybe half a point That's for at least here. noticing a word. Mm -hmm. So only one real word there for Sue, let's see if Phil can beat that. Mm -hmm. Phil, first of all, has rummaged around the basement of the word search and found the word bandage. There it is. He was helped by Key saying, there's bandage and pointing at it on the screen, but nonetheless, <laughs> it still counts. Phil has also got Zantac. There we are. Very what is Zantac, Phil? Phil? It's ranitidine. Stops you having stomach ulcers. It's ranitidine. <laughs> that clears up that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's also managed to get Bayer or Bayer. Yeah. And he's also, again, found a word which is not in the word search, but is a word. Oh, he's found yeah. about halfway up the word saw, S-O-A-R. There we are. <laughs> And so the contestants have each managed to eat their yoghurt, but whereas Sue has only found one medical term, Phil has found three medical terms in the word search. So Phil wins the physical challenge, which takes him up to 11 points, just behind him on nine points. Sue Perkins! <laughs> and we now come on to our final round, the quick-fire meltdown round. Now, uh, this is a buzzer round, so we're going to just need to hold up and test our buzzers, starting with you, Phil. Ah, oh, Phil Hammond. Yeah, that works. Uh, and can we try your buzzer, Sue? Super Kins. <laughs> Quiz will be over when Sue and Phil's heads clash on the screen. So, all to play for. For the final time, let's play We Need Answers. Hi, Sue. Hello, love. Hello, Dr Hammond. Hello there. Hey, Dan. Yeah, not bad. Excellent. <laughs> and you? Very well, thank you. This is a quick fire round. Yes, let's go then. <laughs> Do sperm have nipples? Super. Don't kids. be ridiculous. It's right! They yeah. don't have nipples. A sperm has a head, a midpiece, and a tail. What does placenta taste like? Super. Kids. Um, a little bit like chicken. It goes over. Uh, turkey bristles. <laughs> <laughs> Liver and steak. How does the possum avoid attack? Super. Kins. It does a particular ninja martial art move. It goes across. It uh, crawls up into its own pouch. <laughs> it disappears. It can't help sounding pervy. <laughs> no, it plays dead. Who was the first person in Friends to say the word dust? Super kids. Joey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What is the average age of people on Twitter? Super kids. Four. <laughs> it goes over. Five. Well, it's closer, yeah. Thank you. It's 31. <laughs> Do we have more than two nipples when in mummy's stomach? Ah, yeah. oh, Phil Hammond. Yes, we have a milk line. Perv. It goes all the way down that side and all the way down that side. Mega perv. It goes across. Oops. So, uh, we don't, we just have two. It's right, yes, yeah, you just, just have two. just have two. OK. That's the end of the round. OK. <laughs> and the end of the quiz. So, after that final round, we're ready to announce the winner and the loser. Uh, in reverse order, he's been really funny, he's a ginger-haired dog owner. I don't want to spoil it. Have I spoiled it, the suspense? It is Phil Hammond with 11 points. 
I mean, she said at this point that he's not a pervert unless pervert means really well informed guy. Because uh, <laughs> Phil has really educated this well, but it wasn't enough to win the contest, and he will be presented by Tim with the clogs of defeat and asked to make as clumpy an exit as possible. So, Phil. On go the clogs of defeat. Ladies and gentlemen. Breaks my heart, Phil. I'm more sorry. clumping, please, Phil. <laughs> Even more than that. And that was Dr. Phil Hammond with 11 points. <laughs> Which means that tonight's winner with an impressive haul of 21 points is, of course, Sue Perkins! Yeah. Congratulations, Sue. I don't know how to feel, really. I'm obviously envious of those clogs, but... Uh... Yeah, well, you wait. You don't need to worry about clogs, because you get a choice of prizes. You can either have the Weenie Dancers plate, which is there, <laughs> or the Weenie Dancers dates, which, uh... Oh, well, it's packet of dates. I'm going to go for the plate, because that will last forever and give me a memory that I change. It will, and you're quite right, Sue. That will last forever. So that is yours. <laughs> so, Sue, you've already got the plate. I'm now going to ask you to join me for the House Prize Showdown. Welcome to the house prize step. How are you doing, Sue? Pretty good. Pretty lofty. A bit nervous? Mm, terrified. Well, you'll be even more nervous when you find out what's at stake. It's now time to find out a bit more about tonight's house prize, which, as ever on Winnie the Answers, actually comes from one of our houses. Alex, can you reveal whose it is and what it is? Well, uh, today, Sue, this prize is from... Diddly 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 From my house! Oh. <laughs> and uh, the possession I'm donating to you, if you win, it's a pair of onion goggles. Yeah. <laughs> They're called onion goggles. If you chop onions wearing them, you do not weep. Tim gave these ones uh, to me for my birthday this year. They were 18 pounds. I would have preferred the money. <laughs> there we are. Can we have the house prize showdown question, yes, please? Yes, <clears throat> How are you on jousting? Oh, brilliant, thank God, yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> yes, yeah. it's a jousting yeah. question. You played right to my strengths here. Yeah, I'm just is in. Yeah. Ali, can we have some uh, atmospheric music, please? <laughs> That's quite atmospheric. Oh, have I made the right choice? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're filming Quasimodo. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not sure about this woman. Tension. Settle in. During a joust, mm. how many points do you receive for knocking your opponent from their horse? And this yes. is multiple choice? It is multiple choice. Mm -hmm. Is it one, mm -hmm. two, or three points, or four, <laughs> five? or six, or seven, or eight, or nine points, or ten. Or is it <laughs> eleven points, or twelve points? Or, or is it thirteen points, or, or is it Ronald Reagan and the question's wrong? <laughs> so multiple choice there, quite a lot of options. Yeah, so, a lot to think about there. It's five. Tim, Ooh. can you reveal whether she's got it right? I hate to say it's one of those ones. I hate to say it, but <gasps> you're wrong. Oh. 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 No! It was, was three it? points! It was three, three points. points! Which means that Sue does not win oh. it. But she is still tonight's <laughs> Winnie Dancers winner. Congratulations to Sue, she still gets the plate. <laughs> Thanks and congratulations to our other contestant, Dr. Phil Hammond. You've been watching Winnie Dancers with me, Mark Watson, Tim Key, Alex Horn. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>